T-Mobile. I was watching the I was watching the interview of T-Mobile and Michael Mays having a chat, and Michael Mays described T-Mobile as fine wine. He said, as much as T-Mobile gets older, he becomes finer and tastier to watch. And there is nothing in table tennis that T-Mobile isn't capable of. We've seen some ridiculous hand switch shots over the years from him. We've seen absolutely all sorts behind the backs, hand switches. He's just a man of pure talent. In fact, Marlong justified playing, t playing with T-Mobile at the 2015 World Championships in doubles. Because Marlong played with T-Mobile. Marlong said T-Mobile is the most talented player in the world. Despite being in his late 30s, he said he's got no plans of retirement. He absolutely still loves table tennis just as much as he ever has. And he's still number one in Europe and seven in the world. 38. He's definitely one of the more older play one of the older players. I think Samsonov's probably the oldest. Alexandra Karakasovic also up there in terms of the more older players. The ball as sprightly as ever. Although he did fall sick at the World Championships, was a, which was a little bit of a shame in Budapest. He was in the last 16 and fell ill. But he is the defending European singles champion and European games champion. He's up against Bojan Tokic of Slovenia. He was number one in Slovenia for a very, very long time, but that was taken over by Jorgic that you've just seen. Bojan Tokic is 46 in the world, three places behind Jorgic. But a very decorated career in Slovenia. And Tokic has actually defeated Dmitry Ocharov at the European Championships some years ago. But you'd think from the start that this match has ball written all over it. Let's see what the experienced Slovenian thinks about that. Let's see if he can bounce back after that tight previous loss. from ball beautiful timing on both wings he's got such an amazing spinny backhand ball he can play it from absolutely anywhere and his forehand's slightly different technique but he's just so quick at covering the table such good hands as you can see he's the counter loop king he misses any forehand top spins whatsoever or backhands for that matter he was the last European, I can recall, that beat Marlong in Liège at the World Cup. That's when we saw his amazing comeback against Ling Gao Yan. 10-4 down in the seventh, and he came back. That was at the World Cup. He also lost in the final of the 18 World Cup to Fan Zendong. It was held at Disneyland Paris. been at the top of the game for a very very long time won the European Championship several times and the World Cup the man that could beat the Chinese that's the title that he holds some nice rallies earlier on sometimes you see that players take a little bit of time to warm up and get into the get used to each other's games before you see longer rallies but I'm sure both of these men have played each other so many times not just 
on the international circuit and at these sort of European Championship events, but also in the league, in the Bundesliga. Clever player from Tokic, using ball spin against him. Bok fully commits with the forehand. Tokic plays it the other way, nice block. And a similarly nice backhand there. Six apiece. Service fault. But he puts that behind him and moves on to win the next point. 7 6 now to Tokic. Watching Tokic yesterday. Had an imprint of Croatia. Another young European player whose name's gone up in headlights recently. But it's Timo Ball that sits at the top of this European tree. Respected by many. In fact, he was the German flag carrier the Olympic Games in Rio 2016 he for all the sports he was stood at the front carrying the German flag such a great sportsman but Tokic more to right now he's giving him a real run for his money completely out of position playing the forehand from the middle but still manages to create enough spin to an error on balls back and block Ooh. You can never count Timo Ball out of a rally. Whenever you're watching the ITTF World Tour, you're guaranteed to see Ball in the top ten. It's so consistent and stable. The last match between Ostroff and Jorgic was close. This one's also very close. Nine all in the first. Slow spin. Looked like Tuckett's tried a chop block. Coming down on the ball. Too much top spin on it. Game point, Timo. Oh, and a fortune to end it. That's a little bit of a shame. But nevertheless, Timo balled as well. had a pretty strong game there as well, he'll be quite pleased with it, but Ball's a sort of player that just improves as the match goes on, so we're going to have more from Bojan Tokic this set coming up. He played some nice backhands. Some good touch play. But Ball just had that little bit extra to get him over the line. Paul's most recent tournament before this was the Czech Open. He came short of Lin Yunju, a silent assassin from Taiwan. Just like off drafted in the final. Timo lost 4 3, he gave Lin Yunju a real one for his money. Which is impressive seeing that Lin Yunju's recently won the T2 event in Malaysia.
amazing young player. He shot up to world number 10. Serves. They look very simple, but the contact motion of ball serves is interestingly very disguising. You wouldn't forbid it. They're just so tight to the net that it's very hard to do much with them. Ball goes for that backhand we know and love, but Tokic. Is there to withstand it? Two all. Tuckett's oh, oh, oh. patting his leg, saying, "Get your leg down. Give it some, lad." Got absolutely nothing to lose. There's Ball at his best with those backhands. He's just so deadly away from the table. That creates so much spin and arc. It's just very difficult to counter it back. Look at that. Amazing first top spin. And then there's that slower, spinnier back. Such a kind man, T-Mobile. Tokic cross court. A backhand that Timo Ball himself would be proud of. First one was nice, but the second one isn't quite as good. Tokic with a 5 4 lead. He's playing within himself quite a lot. He's Quite a vocal player a lot of the time, Boyan Tokic, but he's very, very quiet and focused here. He understands the magnitude of what it takes to beat Timo Ball. Mini score miss. adopting the touch play as opposed to getting in with a top spin, keeping the ball tight. Just the same again, Tokic goes for the backhand. Doesn't come down. It's worth mentioning, isn't it, that this is the last full season of table tennis. Next summer we've got the Olympic Games in Tokyo. So many players are wanting to climb the rankings as much as possible to get into seeded positions, make life a little bit easier, easier for themselves in the Olympic draw. It's going to be very interesting to see how that pans out and which players the country select for the Olympic Games. I'd imagine that Timo Ball, being Europe's number one, will be playing if he can hold the same status as in next year. We'd expect to see ball there, that'd be epic. Took it, still be hoping that he's still, he'll still be around for the selection criteria for Slovenia if he can qualify for the Olympics as well. There is a European Olympic qualification event that is held. But if you're high enough ranked, you automatically exempt from having to qualify you automatically in the draw and I'm 100% certain that Ball will be automatically qualified due to his top 10 ranking 7 at the world isn't he at the moment Tokic saves the first game point 10-8 First game was 11-9. Tockets get a little bit closer this time. He's still got another two games. But he's got the serves behind him. 
and the first one he saves courtesy of a nice forward counter one more one more for Tokic one more for Ball who's it going to be going for the backhand serve again Slovenians also quite commonly use the backhand serve don't they oh he did well though at the start of the rally got in nicely but Ball was there as always to just edge over Tokic we've seen two 11-9s at the first and second games so hardly anything to separate the two but again it's Bollet that's just got that little bit extra Tokic very very annoyed with himself he earned that opportunity ball was in a more passive position and it might look easy an easy ball to miss but when you're facing the quality of Nick we've seen a little bit less spin in the game more sort of drives which arguably could be why Haramoto is so effective or one of the, obviously one of the reasons why Haramoto is so effective to play Some players have struggled with the ball change, some have done better because of it. Ball has been around both, but has adapted fantastically. Because the ball's a little bit lighter. The spin becomes slightly less used and less important, but you can still generate a lot of spin. from Boyan Tokic. Don't see many of those from both service error. Well, it was a clever flick from Ball. Guided flick, but Tokic was just as intelligent with that receive down the line. That's what it takes to beat ball. Within three shots, you need a big unpredictability factor to your game when you're playing. Someone just so stable and consistent as ball. We'll see a few more longer rallies now that Tokic has realised it, it's very difficult for him to win early on. hand switch of ball was going to go on Tokic was sat on the floor fantastic rally this was the shot down the line from Tokic finessing it and then ball goes for the hand switch Tokic is at the cinema doing a roly poly backwards on the floor <laughs> couldn't get it on <laughs> That's given the crowd some food for thought, hasn't it now? They're fired up. We will see as the, we will see as the day goes on that the stands get more full. As the war of the draw narrows down to the last four teams.
that hand switch of ball went on, I don't know what I would have done. You might have had to cover your ears. Lovely count though from Tokic. He's playing a little bit better now, isn't he? This is the level that Tokic can play at. He can give Ball some serious problems when he puts his mind to it. Two experienced heads of table tennis, Tokic and Ball. Different styles as well, it's interesting to see them play because they've both got very different ways of playing. Ball grimacing as he misses that ball, 8-6 to Tokic. We saw a comeback from 2-0 down in the previous game where Oftrov came back against Jorgic. Can we see a comeback from Tokic against Timo Ball? Doesn't get much bigger than that. Ball rolling over the counter top spin. Slow, patient, spinny. Using Tokic's pace to his own advantage. You could see what Tokic was trying to do. But Ball's just there, as always, with his finger on the push button. A to peace. Oh, amazing. Oh, it was an admirable adjustment from Tokic. I think he's calling a timeout. Yes, he is. That was a really, really skilled rally from Tokic. Ball got a little bit fortunate. A couple of nets in there. Maybe an edge of the bat as well. Tokic has shown the feeling that he has for the ball. But you can throw the kitchen sink at ball. Look at that. Caught the edge, but Tokic chops it back like Ruin Phyllis. Plays a forehand. That one a little bit too much to ask for Tokic. Ball acknowledging the fortune that he had. Fantastic sportsman, Timo Ball. And as One Direction finish singing, the players return to the table. 9 8 to Timo Ball. And Tokic unable to make a difference after the timeout. Two match points to Timo to give Germany a 2-0 lead against the side of Slovenia that have been threatening at times, haven't they? Awesome rally to finish. T-Mobile does not need asking twice. He wins 3-0 and Germany are 2-0 up. Great match, we saw some fantastic rallies towards the end. Mouth-watering table tennis, as we predicted. But T-Mobile, Europe's fine wine, displays his class. Return to the German camp in the corner. Patrick Franziska is removing his tracksuit top. He is up next. The world number 15, big German giant. Denny Kozel is going to face Franziska. We'll find out. Stay tuned for the third match of this Slovenia Germany quarter final. And as I said before, if you want to check out any of the results, the best places to go is on the ITTF website 
or the ETTU website. And you'll also find a lot of the more highlight related stuff on social media. European Table Tennis Union or International Table Tennis Federation Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We'll show you the best rallies, biggest upsets and all the important things that you need to know about this year's European Team Championships. sur la table numéro 1, donc vous l'avez constaté, avec cette victoire de Timo Boll, l'Allemagne mène 2 à 0. Table 1, Men's Team Quarter Final, Match 1, Germany 2, Slovenia 0. And now, first match, Quarter Final, it's Women's, Poland and I recommend that you go on YouTube one, and check two, out Timo Boll, best of or the best Timo Boll rallies.